So we have all of our uh, images and our videos sort of ready to go. Um, what we need now is the actual recipe. So, uh, you know, sure, that's not going to be very difficult. Uh, a quick Google search and you put it in here and you'll find something interesting. Um, I guess I use this one. And really what we're looking for as far as the uh, recipe goes is we want, obviously we want a title, we want a little subtitle over here that describes it a little bit better. Um, this is our sort of our sizzle, salesy kind of pitch thing. So when you're looking for something, make sure it has a little cool little um, one or two sentence catch thing. Uh, hey, you know what? Look at this. So when I looked at this one, it says, science says shrimp is a good low fat, high protein substitute for meat that does not raise cholesterol. Awesome. You know what I mean? Maybe that'll fit right here. Um, and you know, healthy and delicious, you know, you'll figure it out. Um, we need a little about section, which um, this one doesn't seem to have, but, you know, we're kind of making this up on our own, so we could, let's see, maybe another one has a little little about area for us. This is our little paragraph. Um, yeah, you just you f sort of find the first, uh, whatever the first, You'll figure it out. How about that? I don't need to go into detail. Actually, you could probably even copy and paste some of the content you find right here on the first line of Google um, in the meta description, which, you know, which is a great place to actually, let me go back to that thought, that if you go here and if you're using Chrome, you do the old inspect element, you'll find, uh, maybe traditionally it'll look like that to you, when you look in the code, Somewhere along here, ooh, this is uh, this looks pretty complicated. Um, let's see if in the head over here you can find that old meta description, you know, and then just copy the content from the meta description. Like I said, you could figure that one out. Um, we're going to need ingredients. Now, ingredients is the is an unordered list, obviously, because it doesn't matter which order these ingredients are in and you'll find them in any recipe that you find so here are our ingredients and the directions I made into an ordered list so you want to make sure you have a step-by-step -step. and there you go and then the final piece of content is my footer um, you know, in real websites, you could put a bunch of stuff on the footer. A lot of times people like to put all that social sharing stuff and, you know, more information. You know, honestly, you could even put your contact form in there again. Why not, right? Like we said that connecting with your audience is one of the most important things, if not the most important thing to do on a website and forms are very important. Go ahead, put the form down there because, you know, the user's been been looking. Maybe uh, they weren't convinced to give up their information yet at the beginning, but after they see all the cool stuff you're providing, bam, pop it in there again. Um, for me, I just put this little, uh, uh, jokingly, this page is for educational purposes, blah, 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 and then in quotes, I'm just learning web development. Don't sue me, please. So uh, that's all that's needed. But that should be all the content, uh, both visual and um content copy that you'll need to get this going um, and we'll worry about this guy over here uh, MailChimp a little bit later